Today we're going to go through the construction of the waterfall front coat from the VDC Club Grace Travel Chic pattern. I think this is a pretty neat design and it's not something that I had done in the past so I spent a little bit of time trying to figure out exactly how I wanted it to finish at the waterfall front. And in order to make it um, easy to finish and without the need to serge the edge or to do a rolled hem, I've decided to partially line the jacket. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you through this quick tutorial how to really get this great look without a lot of effort. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, we like to start by observing which pattern pieces we'll be working with. And in this case, for the waterfall front coat, we just have four pieces. We have the front of the coat, which is also going to have uh, an extra set cut for the lining of the waterfall front. We have the side front of the coat, the back of the coat, and the sleeve. So now that we've identified the pieces, the very first step in the construction is going to be to go ahead to sew that front of the coat to the side coat at the seam right here. And that's going to be our first step. One thing to keep in mind when you're working with a pattern that's requiring something that drapes well or has a stretch to it is to maybe take a test piece of the fabric that you plan on using and just run a few stitches over it to make sure that you have the proper needle in place, you're using the proper st stitch length, and that you're getting the desired stitch effect on the fabric that you want to use. Um, I generally use a ballpoint needle for a stretchy type fabric and I use a small stitch length with a small zigzag when I have a fabric that has a lot of stretch in it. In this case, I'm using a Pima cotton uh, as opposed to a nylon spandex or blend, and it has a pretty uh, forgiving um, composition of the fabric, which is why I chose it. Uh, so if you have a chance to look for Pima cotton, it has kind of a nice draping effect like a blend, but it's a little bit easier to sew on. So let's go ahead and get that first step taken care of where we're sewing the side front to the front of the coats. Perfect. So now if you're using a fabric that has any ability to take a press, you can press that seam allowance open. You also have the option to trim that seam allowance down just to reduce the bulk for the drape at the front of the coat. With right sides together, you're going to put the front of the coat to the back of the coat, matching at the shoulder seams and then at the neck. So you're going to sew one straight stitch from one armhole opening across the back to the other armhole opening. And this will create that pivot that we see on this jacket design. And there's our corner right there. And you can see the reinforcement stitch that we took earlier. So since we were able to maintain no holes there, we're gonna go ahead and pull that reinforcement stitch out.
Great, now that we have the waterfall coat lining sewn to the actual coat, we're just gonna check both sides and everything looks pretty decent. So from there, what we're gonna do is clip into this seam allowance and really trim it very close. Um, my stitch length, as I said earlier, is very small, so that shouldn't be a problem. And then I'm gonna turn it right side out. And because I chose this Pima cotton, I'm gonna give it a press. I wanna actually top stitch the edge of that waterfall, and it's not gonna create bulk with this fabric that I've chosen, but you may choose to omit this step if the fabric you chose is a little bit heavier. So let's go on and do that, and then we'll get the rest of this coat put together in no time. All right, well, the coat is really shaping up and we can kind of see how the waterfall is going to look on the front and I'm really liking it so far. So all we have to do from this step is to go ahead and get our sleeves prepared to um, sew into the armhole edge. And then as you can see, we're having a pretty nice waterfall down the front. I may decide not to top stitch this after all, just uh, if it's going to lay well. Once we have the sleeves in set, the next step is going to be to go ahead and hand cast or hand catch um, the lining to this seam just to make sure that everything's looking good right there. The next step is gonna be just to get the sleeves ready. So all we're gonna do is fold the edge of the sleeve up a quarter of an inch, give it a press, and then take it over to the sewing machine and sew that hem. Once we have that done, we'll pin it right sides together to the jacket and get those sleeves sewn into the jacket at the armhole opening. All right, now that we have the sleeves put into the coat, what we're gonna do is put right sides together and sew the side seams. All right, now that we have the side seam sewn, we're gonna go ahead and cut into that seam allowance with our pinking shears and then get this coat hemmed.
since I have the hem edge turned up and I have everything finished the way that I want, I'm going to go ahead and also top stitch along the um, waterfall opening. So I'm just going to make that one continuing hem and also top stitch at the same time. And here we have it, the completed travel chic coat from the Virtual Doll Convention Club Grace subscription program. I hope you enjoyed the construction of this video, just a quick 11 minutes to show you how to make a beautiful waterfall front coat for your own favorite fashion doll. If you have any questions, please list them in the comment section below. And as always, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and join me back here for the next video.